Gerard Anthony Higgins, better known as Juice World, the musical artist who produced hits such as Lucid Dreams and Wishing Well, tragically passed away on December 8, 2019. One hobby of his that was not very well publicized was his enjoyment of Yu-Gi-Oh! There are many social media clips where he is seen interacting with the game, and even songs where he directly mentions it. His good friend Ski Master Slump God shows off a Millennium Puzzle necklace that Juice planned on getting, a direct tie to the original show, and honestly a pretty sick piece of jewelry. He and Juice World was talking about him getting this piece in general, and since he wasn't able to do it, I just decided to do it myself. And it's also like a really big thing of my childhood, like Yu-Gi-Oh was a really big thing of my childhood. Juice himself made this knowledge public through name dropping Yu-Gi-Oh and songs like Juice World Speaks Too and Priceless. Here in Juice World Speaks 2, Juice starts off by mentioning an upside down pyramid, most likely a reference to the Millennium Puzzle, which when worn around Yugi's neck, is indeed an upside down pyramid. And I mean, he follows this line up by literally saying, I was a fan of Yu-Gi-Oh. You don't get more direct than that. Transitioning to his unreleased song, Priceless, he describes his new car as looking like a dragon from Yu-Gi-Oh. But what dragon exactly? Is Juice out here making Kaiba's dreams come true with the blue eyes car? I'm not sure we'll ever find the answer to that one, but I'm pretty sure he had a couple of really nice cars. To conclude the video, let's take a look at a couple of social media clips that show Juice just simply enjoying the game. Quite Oh my god. Damn. Y'all not trying to sell this though. <laughs> <laughs> no, if you seen what was in here, y'all ass piss yourself. I ain't gonna lie. This is my childhood for real. Like a motherfucker, this is my childhood. Damn. I ain't gonna lie. Back when I was doing bars and shit, I sold a lot of Yu-Gi-Oh cards for some bars to the comic book store in my neighborhood. Well, they was on dick. When I walked in there, I was the coolest motherfucker in the world. They, oh my God, where did you get that from? Pay sad. I ain't really watch a show like that. I used to just bust niggas ass in the game. I really like games like chess and what? I played checkers, chess. I was playing poker at a young age. Anything that kind of took strategy, I was fucking with, including more adolescent shit like Yu-Gi-Oh and shit like that. Of course, if you saw it on Vivi's Instagram. No, Vivi sucked my dick. Bitch ass nigga. I was there looking for a fucking PS2 game and this nigga pulled out his camera. Oh, we at a Yu-Gi-Oh tournament. No, you're at a Yu-Gi-Oh tournament because I didn't know it was a Yu-Gi-Oh tournament until you told me it was one. Down today. He was at a Yu-Gi-Oh tournament. Yu -Gi -Oh battles. He just ain't want to enter by himself. That nigga got Pokemon on his Netflix queue. I don't want to hear it. No, I don't want to hear it, Juice. I know you were messing with the Yu-Gi-Oh. But this nigga just took his real nigga level to level 15,000, nigga. Hold on, hold on, nigga. Come on, man. Come on, man. Childhood nostalgia in one day. Jerry, how the fuck you coming, man? Let me see how you coming. Hmm? This nigga too damn old for this shit. It's the same nigga that watch Pokemon faithfully every morning. Man, get to a goof ass out of here. This nigga got hella Yu-Gi-Oh cards. This nigga is a goofy fool. <laughs> This nigga clown, bro. What the fuck you finna duel somebody, folks? 